host, Sycamore Junior High, and day five, the final day of Computer Science Education Week. Today is Friday, December 10th, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Harper. And I'm Luca. Thank you for joining us today, and now let's all unite and honor America by standing, placing our hand over our heart, and as we say, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Thank you, and please be seated. Now a special message from our student council about Spirit Week. My name is Allison. And I'm Mia. The next week is Spirit Week. Um, on Monday, you wear a comfy plaid or comfy flannel. Oh my gosh, check out our new background. Cool. Now for Did You Know. On this day in 1799, the metric system was first adopted in France. Wow, the, met the metric system has been around for that long? Yep. And in honor of our last school day celebrating the Computer Science Week, did you know that the first computer programmer, um, Ada Lovelace, was born on this day? Wow. Um, Ada showed a gift for mathematics and at an early age is considered the first pu computer programmer uh, her notes that were incorporated into Charles Babbage's article on an early me mechanical general per analytical engine introduced many computer concepts. That is so cool. The first computer programmer was a woman. Next, we have yesterday's survey results, asking if you like chocolate or fruity candy better. But chocolate, who came in for the win. Wow. <laughs> The riddle from yesterday was the first two letters of the word signify a male, the first three letters signify a female, the first four letters signify a great, while the entire word signifies a great woman. What is the word? And the answer is heroine. The, defini the definition of this word, word is a woman who is admired or idolized. True. The riddle for today is, I am light as a feather, yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? The answer will be given during Monday's announcements. Our fact of the day. Did you know that today is National Nobel Prize Day? That is so cool. I wonder who will win next. Same. Now on to birthdays. Happy birthday to Carson N. We hope you have a fantastic day and an even better year. Next up, the brilliant and intelligent Mr. Harris with the activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Friday. Friday. Woo! Friday's edition of your video announcements. All right, just a reminder, intramural basketball is going to be starting after the new year. Uh, that'll start, that'll run on Saturdays from 12 to 2 in the new gym. Times and all that information will be reminded in uh, various newsletters and emails and that kind of stuff. So check on intramural basketball. All right, congratulations to our junior high swim and dive team for defeating Princeton yesterday by the score of 908 to 841. The Aviators will compete tomorrow against Wyoming Middle School and on Sunday against Indian Hill. So congrats to our swim and dive team and good luck this weekend. And starting Monday, I heard we're having a little spirit week and everything like that. You guys, break out your spirit. All right, said last week, let's show it out a little bit. Monday, I'll be wearing my plaid. I hope you guys will be wearing your plaid too. All right. That is all for me. You guys have a great weekend. Oh, forgot to say, I'd like to give a big shout out to our junior high choirs last night for a great performance. So great job, guys. Everybody have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Next up, Mrs. Bernoski with a special announcement. Hello, staff and students of Sycamore Junior High. Mrs. Bernoski here with an announcement. You may have been following the news and noticed that nationally and locally, there has been an increase in students using inappropriate language regarding school threats. Locally, a school district shut down classes because of a school sh shooting threat. Another student in another district is facing expulsion for having a hit list with student names. Elsewhere, students have been suspended for threatening to harm peers. Yesterday, at Sycamore Junior High, a student made a comment that threatened school safety. The administration and Montgomery Police acted quickly, and I want to assure you that Sycamore Junior High is a safe place. Please understand that students who make inappropriate comments and threaten school safety, and not just comments, but also internet searches, images, and so on, that threaten school safety will be subject to significant disciplinary consequences. 
Please know that any comments about school shooting or harming others at school will never be considered a joke. Social media posts that threaten the safety of others are subject to investigation by police. One of our PBIS expectations is to be safe. Remember, if you see something or you hear something, please report it to an adult at school. As always, we appreciate your support in keeping everybody safe. Now we have a new segment, which is starting today, which is titled Featured Picture of the Week. It'll be shown on Fridays. The picture was suggested by a few different students. Wow. And check the SJH Communications classroom for today's daily survey and computer science activities as well as check those emails. Time for the joke of the day. Today's joke is, what do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. <laughs> Go Aves! Los Angeles, California because it is city-like, I guess, and I've already been there once, but I love the vibe, I guess. Uh, I think I go to Paris. I heard it's really pretty there at night, and it sounds like they have really good food there, so I think I'd go there. Um, I'd go to my house because I am tired and hungry. This explained that it looks like an old groove to record on a rotating turnable. Record. Start from Miss Jarvis explained it's a record. And the festival is observed by lighting candles, by lighting the candles of a candelabrum. 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 Giving Tuesday is an opportunity for people around the world to come together Wait. through... What's going on? It was time consuming. <laughs> Go Go is. On the bell. Now, now. I'm gonna cry. And let's all honor America by standing, placing our hand over our heart, and honoring our country. The world's first moving assembly line for the Model T Ford. This was a huge, major accomplishment. This was a huge, major accomplishment. Are we allowed to make Garfield while the thing's recording? Huh? If you want to. Ooh, I love fritters. Well, maybe today is the day to try one. Before we get to our Did You Know, we have an exciting announcement. We just got word that there's going to be a December Spirit Week taking place the 30th, the 13th, and the 21st. Um, so not the real 21st. Uh, okay. Oh. Flowers. Okay. Yeah. Then the f fossil was discovered in Tanzania. Tanzania? Tanzania. Tan Tanzania. Tanzania? Yeah, Tanzania. A newly described fossil. Do we need to get a new anchor? <laughs> no, 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 we're good. We're, we're Is good. Nikolai <laughs> broken? <laughs> Can I open the door for a second? For right. Nikolai? I know she means. Alright, well, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Quiet on set. Do anything. You guys can't do anything right now. Baitlet, sparking the birth of the plastic industry. Oh, and this is relevant to our aviator nation. Scientific discovery. He he discovered the jet the jet stream. Wow. And I'm Harper. Thank you for joining us today. And let's all unite and honor our America and stand in place. Thank you, and you thank you, and you please be seated. The count, and you please be seated. Okay. You know that today and time. Did you know? Did you also know that today and timely? She was one of the first programmers of the Harvard Mark. What is that? Harvard Mark I? Harvard Mark I? Harvard Mark I. Okay. True. But what about gastronomy? Gastronomy. Gastronomy. Um, gastronomy. Gastronomy. But what about gastronomy? 